AJ will be very pleased when he sees how much I've brought back from this mine. Now I need to take all of this to him. Wait, what's this? Oh no, guys, it's a lava tsunami. <gasps> it seems to be heading straight for our cottage. We need to urgently warn JJ about this. We need some reliable shelter where we can hide. This could be very dangerous indeed. Hey everyone, look at the cottage we built with Mikey. It doesn't look great yet, but I think it'll change very soon. Oh, huh? Wait, what's this, Mikey? What's happening? Huh? There's a massive lava tsunami coming, can you imagine? And why does this always happen to us? It seems like we need some kind of protection to stop it. It looks like it's getting even closer. We need to think of something urgently. And you guys, right now, like and subscribe to the channel if you believe we can handle this together. I believe in our subscribers, and I think everything will be fine now. Mikey, I don't think so because it's entirely made of wood. You'll see for yourself. Let's build a small shelter for now. I think this will work just fine for us. Yes, and it'll be a dynamite cannon. We'll fend off this tsunami with dynamite. I don't think that'll work how you want, but we can try, of course. I think it'll definitely help. We need to build it as quickly as possible. Uh, let's build then. We'll need redstone repeaters, of course, redstone torches, and dispensers. I think this set will be enough for us, and we'll also need water, of course. Huh? I've got the water. Let's start building. And if our viewers haven't seen how it's done, we'll teach them now. The water should flow here, and now we'll place the dispensers. This is done this way after all. The lava is getting closer to us, which means we don't have much time left for all of this. It could happen very soon. We're lucky it's lava and not water. If it were water, it would already be here. That's true too. Lava spreads very slowly. And let's add some repeaters here. <laughs> hey, no, we actually don't need that many repeaters, just a few. This way it will be better indeed. I think you got a bit confused. There should be repeaters there. Well, do it as you know, and I'll fill it all with redstone and, of course, dynamite. Each of these dispensers should have dynamite for this to work as we need. Fill them up, and I'll work on the circuit. I hope it'll work the way I want. We need to hurry! We still have enough time, so there's no need to rush. We need to do everything properly, so that when this tsunami reaches us, we can defend ourselves from it. So, let's fill everything up, and we're almost done, guys. Of course, I think this cottage won't withstand it. But if anything, we'll build a much sturdier cottage, and I already have some ideas. Huh? So, what's up? I want to test this cannon soon. Yes, I'm done. Let's try it out. I hope it works. Of course it'll work. I built the mechanism. Well, let's test it then. I hope you didn't deceive me. Look, yes, it works. Just a bit low, though. But it's fine. I think when the tsunami approaches, it'll be perfect to aim right at it. It's still far away. I don't think we should worry about it yet. It's not flying as far as I'd like. Huh? Yes, I'm telling you. When the tsunami comes, it'll reach. But for now, we need to wait a bit. Okay, but at least it works. I don't know how it'll help stop the tsunami, but I hope it really does. Let's reinforce our cannon a bit now. Wait, look. The tsunami is much closer now, and our forest is already burning. <laughs> don't panic. We'll figure something out. Fire the cannon! All right, I'll try now. And yes, great, it seems to reach. We adjusted it a bit further, but it's still not enough. Wait, I'll increase the delay a bit to make sure it reaches. Please tell me it'll work. This tsunami will soon reach our cottage. It's spreading more and more. My cannon isn't working. It doesn't reach that far. Seems like we need some other protection from the tsunami. Although, no, it was quite good just now. It seems like it's moved back a bit. Enough playing with this. We don't have time. Let's hide in our cottage. <laughs> of course, we need to upgrade it a bit before the tsunami reaches us. And what do you suggest? Maybe we could at least replace the windows here? Just wait a bit and I'll take care of it. We don't have time to wait at all. Look, the tsunami is getting closer and closer. If you don't do it now, our cottage will turn into ashes. Now our cottage looks much cozier. Oh, huh? I think I can replace the floor with wood for now. There, that looks much better indeed. But I don't know how it'll help us again. But we have no choice but to arrange this cottage. I'll help you a bit now. It looks great. The lava is very powerful. And I think nothing will be left of our cottage. We'll just have to wait for this tsunami. It's already here. Wow, it's great. I think the cottage will hold. Wait, oh no, the lava has reached our cottage. Look at this. I don't understand how this could happen at all. A bit more, and it'll start pouring right at us. We won't be able to leave from here now. Look, there's lava everywhere at the entrance. Don't panic. We'll definitely come up with something. My cottage has to withstand this. For now, yes, but we don't know what will happen in some time. Let's wait a bit until this tsunami passes, and then we'll find a way out. 
We urgently need your support, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. Oh no, it seems our cottage has started collapsing completely. We have nothing left but to sit in this corner. JJ, I think we'll get out of here and everything will be fine. How will everything be fine when everything is actually bad? Look, it's very bad. Our cottage doesn't exist anymore. Well, at least there are a few blocks left from it. Well, to say a few is an overstatement. There's practically nothing left here and it hardly looks like a cottage at all. Wood turned out not to be so strong. We should have built the cottage from dirt. Let's go. Maybe we'll build a new cottage. There's nothing left but to build a cottage, and I already have some ideas. Then let's do it. I think it'll be a cottage made of dirt. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh, no, not that. It'll be even worse. We'll definitely lose then. I have a better idea. I think only water can withstand the lava. So let's make a cottage out of water blocks. So, Mikey, until the new wave hasn't reached us yet, we need to act very quickly. <laughs> First of all, we need to remove our old cottage because it looks very unsightly here. And of course, we'll need to get rid of your cannon, which didn't work at all. I think this will be great. Let's build something else here, more effective against the tsunami. And we won't need this anymore today. I even have an idea of what we can do here. It'll be a real castle that even lava won't be able to penetrate. Can you imagine? Let's grab a water block and start building. I think this can really work. Mikey, look at this. <laughs> wow, this is really great. This should definitely help us deal with the lava tsunami. We'll definitely deal with it. First, we'll need to build a floor out of this water and make this cottage a bit bigger than the previous one. There, now we fill everything up and remove these planks. We won't need them anymore because they completely burn when the lava comes. I still think that building from dirt would be much better. It definitely won't burn. Mikey, you're wrong. Lava can seep through the earth, so a cottage made of dirt would be very poor and unreliable. According to my plan, we'll build a cottage out of water and add some mechanisms for convenience and safety, of course. Now the floor is ready. Let's start building the walls. We'll also need to add reinforced glass so that we can always observe what's happening outside. Do you think the lava won't turn this water into obsidian? I don't think so. And even if it did, this cottage would be even more reliable. Let's add some speed. There are a lot of mechanisms. <laughs> oh, I love mechanisms. Yes, anything related to them. It's really cool. But while I work on building the window, we need to add reinforced glass. Maybe I'll take this black one. Although, guys, it's a bit too dark, and I think white would be better here. Yes, it looks really great. I think now we should definitely withstand this tsunami wave. Be careful. It's moving faster than the previous one. We need to hurry before it reaches us. Don't worry, Mikey. We'll make it. And we still have plenty of time. Our cottage already looks quite good. We just need to finish building the walls and make the ceiling, of course. And the entrance to our cottage will be on the ceiling. It will be opened by a mechanism. You'll need to place everything inside the cottage for living and entertainment. I don't know about the basement because the wave is already approaching us and we need to hurry. Maybe we won't have time for that, but if we do, we'll definitely do it. So, let's close the roof and our water box is almost ready. Just a bit more. <laughs> Great, but how will we get inside? Do you have an idea? Yes, I have an idea. Here will be the entrance, and here will be the mechanism that will open it, of course. Let's add pistons and connect them via redstone. It's so easy to do all this. I think our viewers will find it very useful to learn about such mechanisms. If you want to protect your base, you can build such a mechanism. It's very simple. Even I managed it. Look, everything is ready. We just need to connect it all up. Yes, let's take a lever and connect everything. Look, it should work now. Yes, it works. Our descent downstairs is fully ready. But we need to do one more thing. When the tsunami comes, it could break this entire mechanism. You're absolutely right to remember that. Now we need to hide all this circuitry under water blocks so that nothing breaks when the lava tsunami comes. And it's very close, guys. I think it will happen very soon. Soon. Are we going to build a dynamite cannon? Or how are we going to defend ourselves at all? You know that a dynamite cannon is effective against lava, so we probably won't do that. It's better to reinforce the cottage so that nothing can get inside. Open it up, Mikey. Oh, I totally forgot. That's right. Wow, our cottage looks very secure. It's definitely not like the one made of wood. Well, yeah, a cottage made of wood is ineffective against lava. I think we should put a TV here. Wow, a TV. That's a great idea. Then we definitely won't get bored here together. I'll hang it on the wall here. And we definitely need to make an elevator here, too. Otherwise, how will we even get here? We also need to put at least one bed here. I think it will be enough for us. Wow, 
Sleeping together in one bed? That's something. I'm fine with it. Sure. I know you don't mind. Well, I think this bed will fit here. Let's put it in this corner, and our little house doesn't look so empty anymore. Now I'll think about how we'll climb up here and add some windows. <laughs> yes. Light is always needed. You thought of that right. The more windows, the better. Oh, we completely forgot that we'll need something to eat here. Exactly. Let's then build a small automatic garden. It makes everything very easy. Let me show you how to do it now. I wouldn't mind some fried potatoes right now. I really like that. Let's put the soil here and choose a hoe. We need to dig up this soil. After that, we need to set up the dispenser and add bone meal to it so that it can be dispensed from there. <laughs> You're a real genius. I would have never thought of doing that. This will be such a small garden. I think we'll be able to expand it very soon if everything goes as planned. And let's add bone meal right into this mechanism. I'll add a few more windows for now so it's much brighter. With this, and I've already prepared this for us, just need to install it and the buttons. It's all set up. <laughs> wow, now we have an endless source of potatoes. I've never seen anything like this before. Mikey, we've just stepped out of this little house, and the tsunami seems to be approaching again. Let's make an elevation for our little house. But how do we even do that? Do you have any ideas? Of course. I'm a genius of mechanisms, and I know all about this. I'll do everything now. Just wait a bit. Here we're making a little trench. Oh, huh? All right. Let me help you. I'm curious. What exactly did you have in mind? Okay, then let's dig up these blocks here. Oh, I see. We also need to take some pistons, right? You understood everything correctly? Excellent. Now we need to add some slime blocks. They'll help us climb up. I understand your idea. This will indeed be convenient. Then I'll add these pressure plates here, and we need to do everything as quickly as possible because the lava tsunami is already approaching. Mikey, I hope you'll do everything as fast as you can. Yes, I'm already on it. I'll add some scaffolding and it'll all work. Here, I plan to place a sticky piston and run redstone next to it. I'll test it all from the top then. Hopefully, it'll work just as you want it to. Maybe a lever will fit here, but I'm not sure. Great, it seems we've done everything, and now it works just as we need it to. I'll jump up, but I still need a bit more practice at getting the timing right. Follow my lead. You'll manage it now. It's very easy. Look, I jumped up. Oh, I just need a little practice, and I think I'll be able to jump onto our house too. This elevator looks really cool, and I like it a lot. Let's hurry. We're almost done. Finishing up this railway as the tsunami is approaching. It's getting closer and closer. Just look. We urgently finished building the railway so we can leave from here if needed. That's how we lay it out, and I think it'll be very good. Lately, the tsunami seems to be approaching our house very quickly, and we don't have much time left. Mikey, I've almost laid down this railway. You work on building our tunnel. Let's hurry because I can already hear the lava coming towards us. Let's go. The railway is almost completely ready. We just need to connect it to this point and, of course, make the entrance to our house. Help me build this tunnel because the lava is already advancing. Of course, right now. We'll get it done and build a small tunnel because it might get very hot when we ride out of here on the minecart. We've built such great protection, and I don't think any lava can deal with us now. It won't be able to. You're a real genius at building. We'll wait out this tsunami here. When it passes, we'll just step out of our house. Of course, that's the plan. The tunnel is almost ready, and I think we just need to finish it up a bit more, and everything will be fine. The main thing is to hurry up because we don't have much time. I'll build faster, and I think that's enough now. There's just a bit of roofing left because we don't have time. We need to hurry as the lava is already breaching our fence. We can't rush. We need to finish everything because if we can't, the lava will catch us when we're riding the minecart. And that's true, but it's not up to us when it decides to flood us. So let's speed up and almost everything is ready. Just a little more to finish up, and that seems to be it. But we haven't quite finished yet. Wait! There's no time to wait. The lava has breached our fence. It seems it's about to engulf our house. Let's hurry. I'm already running towards you. Just don't panic. Everything will be fine. Our house can handle it. Oh no, not that exactly. We need the minecart, and we're leaving from here. Mikey, please hurry. The tsunami is in full swing. And look, I think I'm managing to get away before the lava reaches us. That was very close, guys. It's very hot. I didn't quite finish here. Oh, no. The lava has breached our house. I completely forgot that we didn't finish the roof. Great. I told you not to rush. I almost got caught in the lava. Don't worry. We're all fine and completely safe. Look. Huh? Oh, no. I almost made a big mistake. Apparently, yes. This is really cool. 
And we're actually safe here. Nothing can break through. We can plant all the crops and have plenty to eat. Awesome, guys. It looks like we've dealt with it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. The tsunami is passing and now we're safe.